Tell me those weren't the actual lyrics. They were. He sang, yeah, bro, that's the life that I lead. It's about time you fucking learned how to breathe. Oh, come on, it's satirical, I swear to you. I know a guy who talks like that. Seriously, E. <laughs> if anybody asks, we're about that. The rest of us, anyway. The talented ones. <laughs> yeah. Billy, have you heard back from Wave Horse yet? No. Um, no, not yet. But stuff takes a while, so I mean, I'd wait a couple more days before we start panicking. Yeah. That makes sense. Tyler, time check. All right, folks. Let's take a look at the shot clock, shall we? I've got five! five. Bully. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh. So sorry, mister. No worries, kid. This is a skull cap, right? Yeah, yeah. Not tough. Yeah. Do you want an autograph? Of course. Shut up. In a manner of speaking, yes, actually. I'm here on behalf of David Pollux, CEO of Wave Horse Records. You're here for the demo? That I am. As a matter of fact, Mr. Pollux tells me he can't stop listening to it. I just came here to get your initial impression, and I think I have it. You do, and our thanks. Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah, well, thanks. Thank yeah, well, so yeah. What was your name again? William. Same as yours, I know. Ooh, spooky. And with that, I have to be off to headquarters. It was lovely meeting you all. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Something's out there looking on in the ocean. Specters floating, forces in motion. We gotta find something different before we get lost. Gotta find something different before it takes us. Sable noir. How'd you get in here? <laughs> I still have mine. Don't worry, I'm not stalking you or anything. Sangle Noir, that's French for black sand. That song's not on the demo, though. No, it's not. Because you just came up with it. How do you know that? Look at my face, Billy. Do you remember what happened to Tony's? Yeah, we have the same name. Good, now start putting it together so you can start asking meaningful questions. So you're not saying you're me. I'm not saying it explicitly. I can't. Explain. 
Such is the nature of time travel. In order to prevent a complete temporal collapse, I have to leave some doubt in your mind as to whether or not I'm a hallucination. I've lost my mind. <laughs> not yet. At least not for another few years you haven't. Okay, so let's play this out. Sure. So you're saying you're me from the future, which means you're not a Wake Forest representative, which means we didn't get the record deal you were talking about. Am I right about that? Not quite. You're getting a call from David tomorrow. I'm asking you to decline the offer. Why would I do that? Because bad things happen. Trust me, I know. Okay, so this record deal is my ticket out of the shit show. Same for Ashley and the rest of the band. Now you can't sit there and dictate things like you don't remember living in this town, playing to eight person crowds for tips and experience. You know that song, Sabo Noir? Yeah. It's gonna take you another few years to finish it. It's gonna be the first single on your second album, and it's a beauty. But the album's not. You're not ready for this, Billy. You got a lot of maturing to do. Contempt for one's hometown might be enough fire in the belly for one record, not for three. And you'll be damned unless you take my advice. So, what happens exactly? Let's take a walk. This is Claude. He flies on the move. Mind if I get a drag of that? Sure. Ah, oh, spirits. Still smoking these, I see. They're the best. Past, present, and future. So what you're saying is if we take this record deal <clears throat> for the golden ticket benefits and let the music come as it will, we're fucked? More or less. But what if we did it for the right reasons? What if we followed our muse to the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow and we really went for it. The French philosopher, Albert Camus, concerned himself with the idea of eternal recurrence. The idea that time is innately circular and cannot be countered. Only way to win a game like Wave Horses is to back out. To turn down the offer. Yes, you understand. I, I don't. I think you've misconstrued your own hypothesis. I mean, this whole time travel business is just another tactic. It's just another shot at outsmarting the unwinnable game. Maybe time isn't interested in your edits, Billy. Don't call me that. What? That's your name, isn't it? Look, I'm trying to help you. Listen, can you just finish your spiel so I can go home? You recognize that? Or what, the downtown parking deck? Yeah, what about it? I've got one more thing to show you. Still haven't changed your mind yet. How can you tell? You remember your feelings from tonight, but they haven't changed. Yeah, actually, you've pretty much got it. Yep. You're gonna find some pretty crucial inspiration here down there. Oh. 
Billy Morton. Both of you. I'm here, 16 years displaced, on behalf of David Pollux, the CEO of Wayforce Records. What does he want? He wants you at Wayforce making millions. Off of Radio Rock? Uh, look, Billy, everyone loses their muse once in a while, even you. And granted, you're going through a rough patch 16 years from now, as you can see. But I know something even that Billy doesn't know. No, oh, Billy, don't let him fuck with you. You come back. You take a couple years off and you come back better than ever. This guy just wasn't willing to stick it out. Let me show you. Gotta find something different before we get lost. You're out of time, my friend. It's me. Uh, could you come pick me up? Yeah, I'll explain everything later. Yeah, I'm downtown by the parking deck. In the parking deck. Yeah. Yeah, sorry if I woke you. Okay, thanks. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> 